The first step in the dissection of the lenticule is the opening of the tunnel followed by the creation of the two pockets that will gain access to the lenticule. These pockets are created with a Sinsky hook. The first pocket will give access to the dissection plane anterior to the lenticule and the second is the entrance to the plane posterior to or under the lenticule. If you don't get this right, you are in trouble. It is crucial to precede the actual dissection of the lenticule with the creation of a small pocket that will make sure the dissection spatula enters the cornea at the right depth. These pockets need to be created in the right order. First you want to create the pocket that starts in the tunnel and goes over the lenticule. Then you create the pocket that goes under the lenticule. There are different instruments on the market that can be used for the Relax Smile surgery. They come in all sizes and shapes. Personally, I prefer the Femto Flap Lifter Spatula. Um, it is manufactured by Goeder and it has reference number G33427. First of all, I specifically like it because it has the right curvature to do the lamellar corneal dissection needed to loosen the tissue bridges between the lenticule and the cornea. Second, because of the shape, the pivoting point of the instrument is not at the back end of the instrument, but halfway, the part that is used for the dissection. So the turning point of the spatula is not outside the cornea, but is located above the tunnel incision. This minimizes the strain on the incision side and decreases the chance of having a rupture at the entrance side. In this video, a 2 mm tunnel is used. For beginning surgeons, it is a good idea to start with a larger tunnel, for example, 3 mm. Also, the software allows for a second tunnel to be created. And this could be seen as a backup tunnel in case the dissection at the first tunnel doesn't turn out right. So let's have a look at the reference points we can see after the femtosecond laser cut. First of all, we see the edge of the lenticule. Also, we see the periphery of the cap, which is a bit more difficult to define in this picture. And there is the tunnel, which is 2 mm in this case. To open the superior pocket, enter the tunnel with a Sinsky hook and move the hook in the space between the lenticule and the peripheral laser cut of the cap. Then turn the tip of the Sinsky hook over the lenticule while also lifting the tip a little bit. This ensures that the tip goes over the lenticule and not under it. Then enlarge the pocket so that it becomes as wide as the tunnel itself. To create the inferior pocket, bring the Sinsky hook to the middle of the tunnel incision and move the very tip of the instrument to the edge of the lenticule. Turn the tip a little bit inferiorly and push the Sinsky hook under the lenticule. Enlarge the pocket to about 1 mm. The moment you go under the lenticule, you will see some reflections at the edge of the lenticule. This is an indication that you are in the right plane. So now the real-time actual surgical video. Enter the tunnel with a Sinsky hook and move the hook in the space between the lenticule and the peripheral laser cut of the cap. Turn the tip of the Sinsky hook over the lenticule, then enlarge the superior pocket. Bring the Sinsky hook to the middle of the tunnel incision and push the Sinsky hook under the lenticule. Enlarge the inferior pocket to about 1 mm. This is the creation of the pockets, same eye, another angle.